Hello, my name is Yvonne. Today I'll be talking about allotriptin, and the brand name is Relpax. We will discuss medication indication, common side effects, patient education, background information about allotriptin, and lastly, warning and precaution for patients that's on this medication. First, let's talk about what is this medication for. Allotriptin is indicated for the acute treatment of migraine with or without aura in adults. Aura is described as sensory disturbances. These disturbances can include flashes of light, blind spots, and other vision changes. And what are the most common side effects when the patient is on these medication? These include weakness, tiredness, upset stomach, heartburn, dizziness, drowsiness, headache, dry mouth, nausea, and feeling of cold or hot. Now let's talk about some of the most important patient counseling points. How should a patient take allotriptin? The patient should be instructed to not change dose without first talking to his or her doctor. Patient can take one allotriptin tablet as soon as the feeling of migraine comes on. If there is no relief after the first dose, to do not take the second dose without doctor's approval. Patients should not take more than a total of 80 milligrams of allotriptin in a 24-hour period. When should a patient contact his or her doctor? A patient should seek emergency medical help immediately if the following symptoms of heart attack occurs. Discomfort in the center of the chest that lasts for more than a few minutes or it goes away and comes back. Pain or discomfort in the arms, back, neck, jar, or stomach. Shortness of breath, breaking out in cold sweats, nausea or vomiting, feeling lightheadedness, mental changes such as hallucinations, agitations, or coma. Now let's move on to the background information of allotriptin. Allotriptin is a selective 5-HT1B1D receptor agonist. It binds high affinity to 5-HT1B, 1D, and 1F receptors. The activation of 5-HT1 receptors located on intracranial blood vessels leads to vasoconstriction that correlates with the relief of migraine headaches. The activation of 5-HT1 T1 receptors on sensory nerve endings in the trigeminal system leads to the inhibition of release of pro-inflammatory neuropeptides. Such inhibition will disrupt the pain signal transmission and result in symptomatic relief of migraine. A little bit about how the body processes this medication. It takes about one and a half hour for a patient to reach peak plasma concentration in their body after taking allotriptin. This medication has 85% plasma protein binding capacity, and the active metabolite of allotriptin is N-demethylated allotriptin, and the half-life of this medication is about four hours. What is the recommended dosage for allotriptin? The maximum recommended dose is 40 mg. Single doses of 20 mg and 40 mg are both effective for the acute treatment of migraines in adults. A greater proportion of patients had response following a 40 mg dose than those on 20 mg dose. If the migraine has not resolved by two hours after taking the first dose, or return after transient improvement, a second dose may be administered at least two hours after the first dose. The maximum daily dose should not exceed 80 mg. What type of patient should not be allotriptin? Patient with uncontrolled hypertension, ischemic coronary artery disease, history of stroke or arrhythmia, ischemic bowel disease, hypersensitivity to allotriptin, what are the drugs to avoid while the patient is on allotriptin? First, argo-containing drugs. Concurrent use of other 5-HT1 agonists within 24 hours of allotriptin is contraindicated. 
Another one will be CYP3A4 inhibitor that will increase the plasma concentration of allotriptan if they are co-administered together. Allotriptan should not be used within 72 hours when the patient is on potent CYP3A4 inhibitor. Lastly, the medication that should be avoided are SSRI and SNRI. Cases of serotonin syndrome have been reported when the patient are co-administered with allotriptan and these medications. What are the warnings and precautions to the patient that's on allotriptan? First, serotonin syndrome. Serotonin syndrome symptoms may include mental status change such as agitation, hallucinations, and coma. Then, autotomic instability such as fast heartbeat, blood pressure changes, and hypothermia. Then, the patient may also experience neuromuscular abbreviations such as incoordinations or gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The onset of symptoms usually occur within minutes to hours of receiving these medication. Another precaution to keep in mind is that allotriptan may cause coronary artery vessel spasm even in patients without a history of coronary artery disease. Arrhythmia may also occur due to ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. There have been cerebral hemorrhage and stroke reported from patients treated with 5-HT1 agonists, and some of these patients result in death. Allotriptan may also significantly increase blood pressure, result in hypertensive crisis even in patients with a history of hypertension. Therefore, blood pressure should be closely monitored in patients treated with allotriptan. Thank you, and that concludes today's presentation.